Here's a screenshot of the market depth indicators for May the 13th, 2019. We actually have four different indicators here. This is the market depth total on a bar by bar basis. This counts, this is the market depth count, and it counts how many bars the purple is led the blues. If the purple is leading the blues and the bids are leading the offers, there's more bids than offers. And this tells you how many bars in a row that's occurred. And so you see a spiked, a spike in these areas where the number of uh, bids lead the offers consec in consecutive bars is greater. Here, the offers lead the bids. And so right here, the offers lead the bids. And so you see a consecutive um, 20 is pretty high for the day. So if you go to 20, that's a pretty extreme level where the bids lead the for the bids to lead the offers. You see right here at the bottom, you see the blue line and the purple line. The purple, the blue line represents the offers, the total number of offers, and the purple line represents the total number of bids. And you see the purple line staying above the blue line. And every time that happens, it adds one to the count. And if the purple line goes below the blue line, then it resets. And so um, this, is a, this is the market depth total on a bar-by-bar -bar basis. This is the number of bars the purples have led the blues in a row or the blues have led the purples in a row. And so you see these extreme levels during the day, sell-off today um, in the market. This, this was a screenshot I took. This market is, this data is refreshed. It's not historically saved. So I want to take a screenshot, and this is the actually in the evening and the after hours. This is actually Tuesday's trade, so it's minus 0.75. The market was actually down quite a bit today, and you can see the downtrend because you have two other indicators here, the market depth cumulative difference and then the market depth cumulative. And so it keeps track. The market depth cumulative keeps track of the total number of bids and offers between each bar. So on, say, for example, on this bar, it takes the total number of bids and offers, and then the next bar it adds or subtracts. It actually didn't subtract; it just adds the total number of bids, the total number of offers, adds the total number of bids, adds the total number of offers, on and on and on throughout the day. And you see which one accumulates more. And if the purple accumulates more, then it's typically a downtrend. And so you see the cumulative difference. This cumulative difference is the difference between the purple line and the blue line and the market depth cumulative. And so what you see in the market depth cumulative, the trend is down and the market is pressing into the order book, into the bids, and the bids lead the way for the day. And so a new trading approach that I was thinking about when I was looking at this, and once again, I like to, I like to be a system trader as much as possible, but this data um, is refreshed and so I don't have historical data I can test right now. and um, it's, you know, if you get any little crash, it gets reset, and so it's hard to store it. And so I've had some crashes lately, and the data set is incomplete, but I'm looking at doing some market replay data. But here is the latest idea to trade this, and that is to take a look at the market depth cumulative. And if the trend is down as it is today, you short it when you see a spike in the blue. So you see the spike in the blue above these, above these values right here. In this situation, this could be a reversal trade. It could continue to go higher or it could go lower. In this case, the market closed lower. Not a huge trade at this point. The market's already down quite a bit on the day, but you had some heat against you, but then you had some opportunity to profit. And so you had another blue pulse right here. And this blue pulse was even, uh, the market was even higher than that blue pulse. So there was some divergence a little bit. Um, because we're at a higher level in price, but the um, you know they're not pressing into the offers as much here as they were here. So you could short it there. You could short it here. This would have been a sweet short right here, even though it didn't. You know it was only at the at the 12, 12 handle, I guess 12 bars in a row, 12 minutes in a row, where the where the offers were greater than the bids. But it was the second highest of the day. And it was above this level and this level. So potential short, if you had a short bias, if you had strategies that were short and wanted to phase in, that was a, a nice little short to take based on the order book, based on the direction of the order book, and then the short-term spike and the market depth count.